my night wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're here with another sims video but i am building yes i love slash hate building in the sims i don't know like i can't build like i can't come up with a design in my head and if i do i don't know how to like lay out the building and everything like that so this one i actually looked up a building that i wanted to build which you know cottage living came out and i was kind of obsessed with cottage living and so i decided to make a cottage so this is me making a cottage for cottage living so i use all cottage living stuff but i also use some other packs as well but mostly cottage living stuff because like i said at the moment i am very obsessed with cottage living but i had a hard and i mean a hard time building this one because i thought oh it's a cute little cottage it's super cute and adorable i can totally do it but the layout that I, because they showed the layout and everything I could not figure out the layout for the life of me so you're gonna see me struggle and get frustrated well I, you can't see that I'm getting frustrated but I was getting frustrated when I was doing this and then I couldn't figure out how to do the roofing at all so you're gonna see a horrible roof but even though it came out the roofing is horrible I, I kind of works in a weird way i don't know you can tell me if you if it sucks or whatever i don't care i know it sucks when we're inside the house you're going to see me delete rooms a million times over you're going to see me like doing walls over and over and over again because i could not i was looking at the layout of this um cottage and i thought it was gonna be super easy but then when i actually started doing it in the sims i'm like wait how does this work but it was a super cute cottage but the layout trying to do it in the sims is so nightmare feeling and frustrating and i legitly pulled out my hair <laughs> because i was so annoyed with it but in the end i am very very happy with how it came out so tell me how if you guys uh, like it or not. In this one section of the house, it looked like you had to go upstairs to go to the bathroom, but the, I, I don't know. It was I like I said the, the layout of this house is super complicated and super confusing, and I didn't even realize it at the time before I started building it. So that was my bad, <laughs> but yeah. And then they had a upstairs balcony, but the way it was where they put it is like, didn't make any like sense and where it was. So I like completely cut the upstairs balcony out because I had no idea how to like make it a thing. There's a closet upstairs. Where the closet is, it's supposed to be the balcony. So I'm like, wait, that makes no sense at all. Like, huh? So I don't know, like, it just, like I said, the whole layout was super confusing and I didn't understand. My little brain couldn't comprehend it, okay? Uh, the layout was very complicated, like I said, a million times over. <laughs> because it was Ooh. but i hope you guys like how it came out because i love how it came out in the end and yeah and it had like this little opening like it had the opening so you can look over and down so you can see into the kitchen and then the dining room and the living room so i really love that it like had the opening and everything i'm like yes i want to do that because i wanted to do one like that for ages when i was building this house i wanted it to be for a big family so there's a room for mom and dad a room for maybe like a teenager and then a room for kids and then there's like an extra room like if there's like maybe i guess that you want to stay over at your house or something so i did that and then i did like i said i used the cottage living mostly throughout this whole entire build so i did do a chicken coop and a barn out in the back so they can do like 
farming and stuff like that. This is supposed to be a house that's actually meant to be lived in, but it kind of looks like a house that you can like stay in and like go camping in or something like that. That's kind of the kind of vibe I get from it, but it's supposed to be a cottage for you to actually live in. I never tell you guys how long a build takes me, but normally a build takes me about two to three hours. It took me, I think, three days to finish this house because I kept stopping and starting again because I was getting frustrated with the house and the layout and stuff like that. So this is the end of the video, but continue on watching because there's obviously more to the build and at the end there will be pictures of the house in slow motion so you guys can study the pictures if you want to and see every little detail that I put into the house if you want to or just you know skim just watch through the pictures and see all the stuff that's in the house I don't know but yeah that is going to be it I hope you guys enjoyed me making this cottage I really enjoyed it I really loved this cottage yes it drove me crazy but in the end it was all worth it and I'm glad that I put the blood sweat and tears <laughs> just joking but I'm just glad that I built it because I'm, I'm I love it I'm in love with it I do want to use it for a like one of my sims I don't know which sim, but I do want to use it for a sim in the future. I was thinking about so Barry, but I'm not going to tell you which one. So I'll eventually have to change the colors, obviously, because if I'm going to do it for not so Barry, it has to fit, you know, the generation that's going to live in there. So that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.
The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through Somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. I'm a true love. 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 I'
And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer Don't you understand? 